Hi everyone. Let's continue to look at how you can quickly prepare the ship for pilotage, arrival or departure. Take over the watch or prepare the ship for heavy weather using company checklists, mainly based on the appropriate bridge procedures guide checklists. Those checklists you can find in the Annex 3 of the Bridge Procedures Guide, which should be in the ship's bridge library. Today let's look at Bridge Checklist, which is called Preparation for Arrival, or Pre-Arrival Checklist. Let's take an actual checklist like this of one of the shipping company, and let's go through it. So, check if Ballast Exchange is complete. Usually it should be, but always confirm it with a chief officer. Stability and watertight integrity verified. One hour notice to engine room, clock synchronized, master informed. Two or four steering motors switched on as per SALAS. Hand steering engaged and gear tested in all modes. Anchors cleared and ready for use. Radars and opportuned. Echo sounder running in position, date and time marked on graph. Position, date and time marked on course recorder. Course recorder time synchronized. DHF and AIS running and monitoring required channels. Ship rep arrival message sent prior to entering pilotage waters. Pilot station contacted and ETA confirmed. Helicopter operations agreed, if applicable, and safety measures deployed. Access accommodation ladder checklist filled in. Engines and bow thruster controls tested. Telegraph logger checked for operation. Engines are tried out ahead and astern from engine control room prior embarking pilot on arrival. Voyage plan updated with any relevant arrival information. Weather reports, navigation and safety warnings to hand, reviewed. Master pilot information exchange form completed and arrival drafts to hand. BTS, pilot has confirmed maximum draft. Doppler log speed verified by observation. Active CNCS operational. Flags and light signals checked. Ship whistles tested.
Engine room confirmed, pre-arrival checklist engine, completed and all systems ready for arrival. Pilot boarding arrangements ready. Power on mooring equipment and lines ready. Deck lighting tested. Pollution prevention equipment in order and ready for use. Fire main ready for use. Berthing requirements agreed with port terminal. In U.S. waters check if CFR 33 paragraph 164.25 requirements completed. Tests before entering or getting underway. Then tick that you made an entry in the deck logbook about completion of this checklist. Then sign it, take the signature from the master, and indicate the date of completion. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Thank you.